my name is Jessica and today I'm going to be talking to girls specifically. Um, I just want to talk about a few things that I've noticed on the broad spectrum that affects young women my age and younger. Um, women are very delicate. Um, we love attention. We love to be admired. We, we, we love to be told we're beautiful. And as a result, there's a tendency for us to stoop low for any guy that just approaches us, any guy that just gives us, you know, this attention and fulfills that longing and desire that we have in our hearts. Um, but I just want to tell you or let you know that um, there is one person that can only fulfill that desire, and his name is Jesus. Um, the Bible says that we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, so you don't need a guy to to let you know that or to fulfill that desire because of what Jesus says about you, because of wh who Jesus thinks you are or believe or knows you are, because his definition of who you are is who you are in actuality, not what you think, not what the world thinks, or not what the guy tells you that you are. Actually, Jesus' expectations, G sorry, not his expectations, his um, his beliefs, his his declarations over you, those are what you truly are. If Jesus says you're beautiful, you are beautiful. If Jesus says you're fearfully and wonderfully made, that's who you are. So you don't need a guy to, you know, slather you with such words, you know, just to get you, get you, get your attention or get that that thing that you're looking for. If that makes any sense, I don't know. Um, so I just want to encourage you um, instead of looking for what guys have to say about you open up the word and see what jesus has to say about you jesus has a lot of things to say about you actually a lot of people they think it's so weird for you to say jesus is your boyfriend but i don't think so in my own personal personal journey just by knowing jesus as a friend alone i feel like not even feel i just know that that also fills the holes of you know the desire for a guy you know sometimes a thought comes you know oh yeah a guy a guy this a guy that you know but jesus actually says more beautiful things to me than a guy actually does jesus actually says more wonderful and uplifting things about me than any guy i've been with and honestly jesus is inexhaustible i don't know i feel like girls you know we hop from this guy to that guy to that guy you know looking for something trying to pull that you know whatever it is that that hole that you have in your heart but the only person that can fulfill that hole is jesus himself and i just want to encourage you you know seek after jesus desire to know him he's he's someone that could fulfill every single thing that you want everything that you need um so yeah that's that's what i want to tell you today um it's a distraction um honestly it's a distraction from you to see who Jesus truly is. Um, I don't know, my brother Francis, he tells, he gives us this analogy, um, analogy about Jesus, you know, like Jesus can be, Jesus can be here and you know, whatever you're looking for is here, but something is, you, you focus your attention on something more than Jesus. So he becomes a blur kind of, um, ask God to just help you to put your focus from this, this person to him himself. And you'll see that the voice of this, this guy or these things that you feel like you want, they will fade away and Jesus' voice, Jesus' person, his personality, the things that he says about you, the things that he declares over you, it will become more real and such a tangible reality. And you'll notice like after a year, after such communion with God, after so much fellowship with him, you'll find that the the words that he says, it, it begins to find expression. And you look back and you're like, oh wow, <laughs> you know, I was here back here, but now I'm here. Um, I also want to like encourage girls who have, you know, um, you know, aren't virgins, you know, who have, you know, slipped slipped into immorality and all of that. I just want to, to let you guys know that it's never too late for you guys to turn back. Jesus is so forgiving. Jesus is so loving. No matter where you've been, I don't know if you guys have, you know, um, read read the scriptures about the lady who was caught up in adultery. How the Pharisees pulled her to the center, and they were like, "Jesus, this lady has been, you know, com has committed such a great sin." And Jesus was like. <laughs> Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. I just want you to know that Jesus is saying the same thing about you today. And he's giving you a chance of redemption and of new life. If you 
just open up your heart to him he would fulfill he would fill in all those holes all those desires that you were looking for in men all those desires you were looking for in young boys Jesus would fill that and he would heal you in fact there's so many testimonies about girls who were prostitutes before who were you know sleeping around and everything and you know they asked Jesus Jesus I want my virginity back and she, on their marriage bed Jesus just whoosh, you know like a miracle just restored their virginity and it was such a wonderful testimony Jesus can do that for you there's some girls who didn't even ask but you you can ask Jesus and Jesus can restore that thing in fact you know when when you give your life to Jesus Jesus makes you afresh Jesus makes you new so who you were before it doesn't exist anymore the Word of God says that we're new creations in Christ Jesus all things have passed away and behold all things have become new that can happen to you if you open up your heart to him if you say yes to him there's so much adventure there's so much love so much to discover about Jesus I just want to encourage you young ladies give Jesus a chance he's worth every single thing worth everything if you just give him a chance thank you guys Jessica here